Gilman. A year ago, these two squared off final X. Gilman won in two straight, but it was the US Open Finals where a late takedown and already hands to the face warning for Gilman. That's how their final X battle started last year, too. Early physicality from both these guys, both vicious hand fighters. Gilman's gonna look to get to his underhook. He's known for his lefty underhook, but he's had success with the righty underhook against, Gil against Fix as well. So we'll see that the battle for Dayton Fix is to stay out of the ties, control center, stay off the edge. Woo, be high, be high. Fire off his own leg attack. He's going heavy right clubs as Dayton Fix, normally a staple and right back at you, says Thomas Gilman. This is gonna turn as close to a fist fight as we probably will be allowed to be. Yeah. I know what you mean, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Fighting inside is Dayton Fix. He's great from over collar, but hasn't been able to generate offense from that particular tie traditionally against him. There's an underhook right side as Gilman's gonna get here for, for passivity first. Next one, he'll go on the clock. Dayton Fix got to hit a post leg attack there. He's looking for it again. What he's got to be careful about is if Dayton, he says he wants to let it fly and get some leg attacks going, he's got to watch out for Gilman's re-attacks. They are absolutely superb. And he could punish Dayton from that position. He wasn't able to in their US Open match, however. And man, I tell you, Gilman, even for Gilman's standards, both these guys. And there's yeah, he fires up an attack. Gilman into the single. He's in position here. Fix trying to wrestle out of it. He's going to wait for that last second. And Gilman wisely climbs up that leg, never completely releases. He's got a quad pod position over Dayton. Dayton's tough from quad pod. He's tough to break down. And this is exactly like their US Open match. It was really tough for, for Gilman to put him down. And they're going to go one on the step out. One confirmed. First point on the board. That's a good job by Dayton Fix not going down there. Just and how many storylines can you see here? You got Oklahoma State versus Iowa. You got the Perry brothers. And Gilman got hit for attention to the hands to the face again. We got to monitor that. If he does that, could be a caution in one if he continues. And he's only a minute and a half into the first period. So going to have to be calculated with his hand fight is Thomas Gilman. It's, man, I tell you what, Dayton Fix has got some strikes of his own with that right. And there he posts that leg attack. Head outside now is Dayton Fix looking to double off. Can he? He's around the hip. He's around the waist. He's in position to score. Nothing yet, though. He climbs up. Now he's got Gilman in the quad pod. Got to be careful if you're Gilman. You don't want to get Oh, I don't think it touched. I don't think it touched, man. And we got a white paddle and a white paddle. So yeah, nothing confirmed here. He's out of bounds, clearly. So it'll be one. And yeah, I think one's the right call. One, one, Gilman and fix. I mean, it was a hair away from touching, but I didn't think it touched. Dayton, you'll normally see him throwing double boots and collapse this guy, but Gilman is just next level strength for this weight class. One, one, oh, both guys. You see the, the sweat, sweat flying every time they club. Yeah, absolutely. It's gracious. 30 seconds in, both guys have gotten in on quality leg attacks really deep and unable to finish, getting to quad pod position. And now a leg, Scott single leg attack. Outside. He's straight, uh, excuse me, extended, but he's coming out the back door, looking up and trying to reach for the far hip is Gilman. Dayton's good here. Dayton's over the top, has an angle. Now Dayton's gonna have a position to score, and he gets a takedown. Holy buckets. Fix. With a big takedown late here in the first, and a turn. Gilman, he does not get turned in parterre. It is extremely rare, so to see him gut right, unbelievable job by Dayton Fix. And man, the thing about Dayton, you get to his leg, he goes on the attack. He goes over top, gets that far ankle, turns down and gets that finish, and then transitions perfectly, gets his lock on the gut. And he's known for that trap arm, went with just a traditional gut wrench hard to the right. Dayton Fix, unbelievable job there. As you see, some of his accolades won the Open this year. Run up here a year ago in a junior world champion at 17, cornered by his father, Derek Fix, and Chris Perry. Tom Brands and Mark Perry in the corner. And man, Gilman, he's got a great gas tank, but it, at the same time, he's not exactly built to come from behind. He kind of is like death of a thousand cuts. It's typically his style and freestyle, so he's gonna have to fire off multiple leg attacks, which means entering right into Dayton Fix's wheelhouse, down four. Still plenty of time, and three minutes is a long time to wrestle Thomas Gilman. Yeah, and he fires off an attack, and he's in, Gilman! And let's see if he's gonna finish. Like you said, we see Fix going to work, kind of attacking the legs of Gilman. And Fix gonna try to hang on to that leg. Gilman gonna be breaks tough. that grip. And I think he's gonna hang on. 
Gilman's got it. If he wants this position, he needs to continue to look like he's progressing. If you end up hanging there, they're going to stalemate it. And good job by Dayton, uh, just finding his way to a leg. But got to be feeling good if you're Thomas Gilman, able to get to attacks. And right Multiple again. times. Oh, he's running behind. He got it. 7-1. Wow. Right back to his turn. Can he get it? And it was just like, a, it seemed like a moment of hesitation maybe on the, on the part of Gilman. Just got froze up for a split second. Fix able to exploit and put two more on the board. He's up 7-1. Dayton maybe getting a little better read on Gilman's leg attacks. He was able to uh, sprawl and go behind really quickly there. You don't see that against Gilman hardly at all. Now lefty collar here for Thomas Gilman. I can hear Dayton fix his mother from here. <laughs> Sharon, come on, Dayton, keep wrestling. Minute 45 left. A lot of time still in this one, but a six point lead for Fix in the driver's seat at this point. Oh, right Fires off shot. another attack. Dayton doing such a good job with the hand fight. He hasn't been towards the edge. Uh, apart from that leg attack that he defended. There's another shot, turn and kicking out. And that's like three times we've seen Gilman at least get to the leg on that same attack, but obviously zero finishes so far. Kickouts have given Gilman problems against Fix um, historically in this rivalry. It's not the first, second, or third time Dayton's kicked out. Now getting to that underhook, trying to get that seatbelt position. Not there for Thomas Gilman. Under a minute to go now. Shot. And again, a shot, and again, is stopped by Dayton. This time it was the hips, kind of shoved into him. A dead center in the middle of the mat. And that's, it's not that Dayton, I'm surprised to see him score points. I'm, to see him control the hand fight so well. It's a hard club, yeah. Yeah, good point, Christian. Looking for that pass by attempt there is Dayton Fix. 20 seconds to go. Another shot, but extended now. Gilman's a good finisher. Typically, he'll go head wheel, now turning and kicking away. And now just 10 seconds to go. Gilman would have to turn this into a bunch of turns. And wow, gonna take him over for two more. Dayton Fix, 9-1 over Thomas Gilman. And you might have thought Dayton would win. But nobody predicted a dominant win for Dayton Fix, but that is exactly what just happened. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that was all Dayton. Let's see if we can check out some of these, uh, some of the highlights from this match and heavy hand fighting you're seeing.